In this position, we can understand uh, everything about our valley. No, is a uh, Alps Valley. It's very strange because uh, usually the Alps Valley uh, run from south to north. The Valtellina have this beautiful particularity for the wine that is that run from east to west. In this way, we have this wall that looking south perfectly, uh, and uh, uh, you can understand immediately that in this side there's viticulture, and in the other side of the valley there aren't. There are uh, uh, there's only forest, and that's mm. it. And uh, uh, for us, it's perfect uh, this this uh, direction of our valley because every time in the year we have the sun. Mm -hmm. Usually, when uh, there's a good day with good weather in uh, January when we're pruning, we stay maybe with the, our uh, foot in, in the snow, yeah. but in the same times we are in t-shirt to pruning. <laughs> yeah, it's like a ski area, no? It's a beautiful temperature. And uh, um, in the same times, uh, uh, it's beautiful because we are near the Como Lake, Mm. And every afternoon we have these beautiful winds that coming is a thermic wind yes. that coming from the Como Lake inside in our valley, and give us uh, uh, is beautiful for the health of the of the the grapes. No, and uh, um, our valley is uh, um, is a glacier valley. is a U valley. You can see that uh, the, uh, there's the, the the glacier that coming from. From uh, and uh, when when uh, the the glacier um, um, come back, uh, leave these little rocks on the on the mountain, and from these little rocks uh, on these little rocks uh, we work it, and uh, the valley uh, the, the viticulture starting uh, at uh, the lower part of our valley that is are 300 meters on the sea level, mm -hmm. and now the viticulture arrived near. 800 meters. Wow. The highest point is 800 uh, meters, Terrible. and in this, uh, in this difference of the, the altitude, there's a lot of different words mm. because uh, um, uh, in the lower part we have um, more cold, more mm. humidity, mm. and the highest part is beautiful because it's very dry. Yeah. And uh, and in the middle, there's a the beautiful part because there's a, a little bit more powerful and freshness in the same times, mm. no? Uh, because uh, from the lower part, we have this uh, very thin skin. Mm. We have this uh, humidity that give us uh, good grapes for uh, fresh wine, very with a lot of parfum. In the highest part, we have beautiful um, polyphenols, beautiful mm. tannins, beautiful uh, uh, polyphenols, uh, beautiful maturation in these things, uh, but uh, a lot of freshness, sometimes a little bit more freshness, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit too much freshness. In the middle, we across all these two things and we have the perfect vineyards. The sweet spot. I think, yeah. It's like uh, the Grand Cruz in Burgundy is in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Valtellina the same. And it's beautiful because uh, uh, it's uh, some years that uh, we work at, uh, in, in the vineyards, but immediately you understand uh, when you are around in the harvest time mm -hmm. and you taste the grapes, taste, 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 you understand that in this middle part around uh, 450 to 600 meters, there's the best uh, grapes the best. that you can have. Yeah, it's, it's and most of your vineyards are in that spot and that's yeah we are we have vineyards between 400 to 650 in the lower part 400 450 we made the, our Rosso di Valtellina okay because there's this thin skin and we uh, we prefer to make very fresh wine immediately wine mm -hmm. we don't we don't need to take off too much from this we can't take off too much from the, the grapes we can't take off too much from the the seeds yeah uh, and from 450 to 600 meters uh, we made longer maturation because uh, the polyphenols every time every year are so beautiful and we can take off a lot from that no? and uh, and our crews are around 500 meters uh, the, for now the most important vineyards that we have is uh, that uh, now we go to, to check and uh, is uh, between 400, uh, 530 to 570 meters. It's a beautiful altitude. And there's another thing because uh, you can see that there's a lot of difference in the, in the, in the slope of the vineyards. There are some terraces that are less slope 
less for Valtellina. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot too. It's but, pretty steep. Yeah, uh, and other uh, terraces that have a lot of uh, uh, slope and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this changed uh, a lot because uh, uh, if you have uh, more uh, more steep uh, yeah. uh, in the maturation times. Uh, um, when the sun in October and September is a little bit down, uh, uh, you have this steep that is perfect in um, uh, perpendicularity to the sunrise. Wow. And in this way, you have very cold in the night, r around zero degrees. Uh, and uh, in the, in the, in the, during the day, you arrived at 30 degrees. And it's perfect, perfect for the, uh, 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 usually, um, around the half of October, we arrived for the first time uh, with zero degree or minus one, minus two in, in Celsius, uh, obviously. Wow. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for the grapes, it's perfect for the, for the skin, it's perfect for the maturation uh, in polyphenols. Yeah, it's when very do you beautiful. usually harvest? What, what oh, uh, in a normal year, we start in uh, October 10th and we finish uh, November 10th. Because uh, every uh, we waiting for the best maturation every vineyards. We starting October 10 with maybe one vineyards. We waiting for three days uh, another vineyards. One week another vineyards. We have 17 different vineyards, and every vineyards is very particular, and we want to take the perfect and the right moment in maturation. For do, do that, uh, me and Pierpaolo Birba, we go around a lot and we taste, we taste the taste, because we made some, uh, some test in uh, our little laboratory, no? we checked the, the sugar, we checked the acidity and pH, but the most important for us is the maturation in polyphenols. We taste, uh, we put in our mouth the, 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 the berry, we, we separate the skin, the pulp and the seeds, and we heat separately everything, and in the end we crush the seeds, because we need to understand if the, the polyphenols in the seeds are perfect, are good for, for this longer maturation that I explained after when we are in Sarah, no? What elevation are we here? Uh, now we are uh, 530 meters. Five, okay, all right. 530. And yeah. where are the different um, communes? Or do you call them yeah. communes? Yeah, or yeah, the yeah, zones? Yeah. Or what do you yeah. call them? Uh, in Vaselina, yeah, yeah, absolutely. What do you, what do you, yeah, we don't, we don't speak about it? communes, yeah. but we speak about uh, um, historical uh, mansion uh, area mm -hmm. that is Sacella. Uh, is the uh, this one that we have in front of us? Okay. Uh, this uh, little uh, part that are in front of us. This mm -hmm. is Sassella, and there's a part of Sassella in the back of this part. Okay. We are in a Grumello area. This you is can Grumello. see this castle. This is Grumello Castle. That's a Grumello yeah, Castle. That give us the the name of the the, the of this area. And uh, when you will go after in the cellar, we passed in Inferno area, <laughs> and uh, we arrived in our cellar, and in the uh, east part of our cellar, starting the other area, Valgella. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, um, this is a geographic mansion, and it's very important because immediately you understand where are you. Mm -hmm. But most important for us is goes inside in this, uh, uh, in this uh, area. Mm. Because it's important Grumello, but it's uh, important where you are in Grumello. We explain about the altitude now. Yes. That is very important. Yes. Grumello, but this area, the name is Dossi Salati, and this is a very little part of Grumello, and it's beautiful for the altitude. Mm. In this way, you have Valtellina Superiore, Grumello area, and Dossi Salati vineyards. Now we go to check, okay? Grande Davide! <laughs> Wow. This is how the steps were built a thousand <laughs> Yes, a thousand years? No, how many are, how long ago was this built? Oh, we don't know. Because oh. uh, uh first time was one thousand years ago. Okay. But probably rebuilt. I, we don't know many times this whole town and rebuilt completely, you know? And oh, uh, sometimes uh, this uh, happen and we have to reboot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful area, incredible area. In this area, there's a, uh, you have to be a lot of respect, and for that, uh, you every time you work it with uh, the responsibility. Yeah. You add this one from zone one. It's like a runner 
uh, that have uh, I don't know that uh, the I, you baton. know where, when there's four people that yeah. run yeah. Yeah. okay and uh, uh, this one I don't know the name baton. Of, okay <laughs> and you have to pass give the baton. pass this one to zone one yeah uh, maybe in 30 years yeah. but I have to give max in the best way maximum as possible and with uh, uh, preserve maximum as possible the plants, uh, preserve maximum as possible the wall yeah, and uh, yeah. the land uh, for these things which are uh, to go in organic way too. Love it. Yeah, for us yeah, <laughs> and <that's great>. for <laughs> yeah. the it's respect. The yeah. Yes. yeah, because we started done too much years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we started with the history. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. We worked at uh, uh, where 1000 years ago the people worked. It's, it's crazy <laughs> to it think. Is. And sometimes we work it with plants that are very old, maybe 100 years old. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, how many people work at that? Mm -hmm. How many people had the possibility to work with the plants? And for us, it's a very, it's, 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 uh, it's fortunate, it's, it's beautiful, it's and yeah. it's an honor, it's an honor, yeah. an honor absolutely. And uh, um, um, okay, we, 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 we want to preserve them best. A lot of reasons. This is the historical way to planting uh, uh, in the most vertical uh, way uh, from south to north was, uh, was beautiful. Uh, this is beautiful because uh, you have the sun in, in this, uh, in this uh, that, uh, that uh, goes on the leaf in this side uh, in the morning and uh, the, the sun uh, and we have the sun in the afternoon in the other side of the plants and it's perfect because you have a lot of uh, um, um, photosynthesis in this way because when the sun is very high this, in the highest point uh, and uh, the, the photosynthesis doesn't work because there's too much temperature the plants stay in outdoor protection because they have a little bit of uh, uh, ombra, mm. ombra, I don't know, shade, shade. <laughs> Uh, and uh, in the same time, sir, was beautiful because uh, uh, a lot of years ago there aren't machines for cut the, gray, uh, the, 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 the grass, and they, uh, I don't know uh, in English, but they moved all the soil a couple of, uh, a couple of times, and in this way was more simple because you, you have less uh, difficulty to. And you just walk up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful way. Uh, now oh, we're starting to, to, to work it in other way too. And uh, there's other reason. It's beautiful if you put the, if you plant in the other side, you have a lot of uh, action from the wind. Mm. And it's good for the health of the, 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 the celebrity of the, the, the grapes. And uh, there's a lot of reason every reason is is good for some things <laughs> and other reason are good for other things yeah the wind comes this way no uh, yeah there's a two two the wind winds uh -huh. one way. wind is a, a thermic wind from uh, the como lake okay. is the is the most the most important wind the, the, is the most uh, uh, powerful okay. <laughs> winds no but there's a lot of wind from uh, the lower part of the valley to the highest part of the valley. This one is a thermic wind too, because in the lower part is more cold, and the other part is more highest, uh, is more is uh, is more uh, uh, hot. And uh, for these things, there's this thermic wind that during the day passes from north to south, and uh, during the night, all down. Is planting horizontally more you know better for this kind of wind or this kind of wind? This kind of wind is more oh, powerful, uh -huh, but yeah. uh, okay, uh, you you can try a lot of things that are good in uh, if you're planting in this way. Yeah. A lot of things is uh, that is beautiful for if you're planting in the other way. Uh, most important things, uh, I I think that is the type the, the the type of our soil. This is a sandy soil. Ninety percent are sand. It's not sand, but it's little yeah. rocks. No, uh, you 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 can see here where we work it. So, um, uh, that uh, immediately wow. when you work it, you, you have a lot of rocks that uh, comes up, yep. and uh, um, and there aren't uh, um, claim inside. Uh -huh. It's very pure soil. Yeah. For these things, uh, the plants uh, uh, take a lot of times to grow up and grow bigger, because uh, there's is very is very pure soil, 
and you plant uh, one plant and you need uh, if in another place you need three years for have a good plants here maybe you need six seven years for have a good plants uh, that have a good production no? and uh, um, for these things for us it's very important to preserve maximum as possible the very old plants because uh, uh, you can see when when you have uh, one moment uh, in uh, in stress uh, for for water um, in the, during the year you can see immediately that the, the young uh, plants uh, go to close the, the leaf and goes in out of protection and the whole plants that take the leaf perfect open it and work it and work it and work it because the roots uh, are go, uh, uh, went in the very lower parts and take some water that running uh, on the on on the lower part in the mountain, no? Hmm. And uh, for these things, it's beautiful to to check this big difference. And for these things, for us, it's very important to preserve maximum as possible the very old plants. Never we take off old plants. When one plant died, we replant. Yeah. And uh, it's difficult, but is for us the, the best way. In this way, we have a lot of difference in clone too because uh, you can check uh, one clone that was planting uh, 18 years old uh, 18 years ago that is very little and beautiful and, and uh, um, uh, some plants that are planting around the uh, 80s and 90s when the, the people wanted a lot of quantity that is bigger clone but uh, uh, we try to preserve a lot of this little clone uh, this beautiful clone and put a lot of other other different clone in this way uh, is like um is like um it's like a, 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 the, the people that stay in one city no you have the, the child <laughs> you have the very old people you have the, <laughs> the people that have uh, 13 years old and uh, uh, every people is different and every people can give you something different yeah. every plants are different and every plants can give you something different and yeah. this is beautiful in the wine because you have a lot of complexity a lot of things different and then i noticed you have some <coughs> cement around these is that to you yeah or because there's cement it looks like, okay Cool. This oh. one, this one, because uh, um, uh, for us, uh, uh, we work it only with a mechanic machine uh, because we are inorganic, uh, and we decide to work it only with mechanic machine without uh, chemical, and uh, we need to stay when the plants is very little. We need uh, to stay um, um, don't uh, near to the plants. Uh, if not, uh, we cut the plants. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need uh, a little. A little bit of space in this way we cut the grass here and we don't touch the plants mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. right. and then soil erosion do you worry about that oh no like don't too much no, no. Uh, okay. if you leave the grass you don't have erosion oh. if you if you spray chemical and you kill everything so you have yeah. more and more erosion okay. yeah 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 if you leave grass it's, it's perfect Got everything it. stay here and it's okay yeah. <laughs> it's amazing and what are the, what's the oldest, how, are you, how old are the oldest vines? Oh, now we, we will go in uh, one part of the vineyards that is very, very old. There's a lot of plants that are around uh, 18 and 100 years old. Now we, wow. now we checked. <laughs> Okay, in harvest time you can check better, but you can check n uh, now too that uh, all uh, all the clones are different. No, some gra grapes are bigger with uh, don't too much berry. Other grapes uh, have more concentration in berry and uh, maybe little little grapes. There's a lot, a lot of difference, a lot of different clones that give us this complexity in the end when we're picking, because we're picking all the vineyards in the same moment okay uh, and you have a lot of li little difference in every every gray every plant and this gives us a lot of beautiful things how many different clones do you have uh, we really don't know <laughs> we really don't know because it's uh, a similar uh, population yeah yeah i explained before uh. that um now um we have uh, i don't know uh Something like uh, 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 thirty thousand plants. Wow! Inside our vineyards, and uh, I think that we have uh, I don't know 
two hundred different clones more. But I I really don't know because uh, until uh, done too much times ago, the, the the people that work in the vineyards are not um, uh, don't buy the plants from uh, 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 other people, but replanting the plants that he wants. He planted the American rootstock, and he put on the plants that he loved around. In this way you have a lot of difference because there aren't uh, some people that take one clone and... Uh, plant it everywhere. Yeah, planting everywhere. Mm. No, the people planting the plants that he loved in that historical moment. Oh. Because uh, yeah. different historical moment, different... Uh, um, um, uh, yeah, different flavors, different uh, idea in the wine yeah. and in the vineyards too and there's uh, all this across. So these are this is your first vineyard you bought? No, no. Uh, this vineyards is for rent mm. because uh, we have a lot of vineyards in rent. We we <laughs> buy the only two vineyards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in property now we have 0 0.3 hectares <laughs> in property, wow, wow. but we had uh, we have uh, a lot of other uh, we have other 15 vineyards for rent, uh, and uh, uh, we have the, the same um, um, uh, we have to do the same work. We have to preserve. We have to every time so we have to planting. We have to to bring. Uh, better and better every year the, 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 the vineyards and uh, but this, this uh, was perfect for us uh, because when we started we don't have we didn't have nothing yeah. we starting without uh, uh, vineyards mm -hmm. we starting without cellar and we starting without euros <laughs> <laughs> we was completely zero <laughs> we worked for our dream uh, between uh, uh, Monday to Friday and I worked in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night uh, in the in the bar for bartender. And Paolo worked uh, for made pizza, and this uh, um, uh, and have the possibility without paying nothing to work at a piece of uh, land that in October give us um, is your work it that made something. You have you, you have. Uh, you have value mm -hmm. in October. Mm -hmm. you, you have uh, something that in, in January there aren't, and only with your work and the nature you have something that's uh, made in your <laughs> in your hands, uh, and you have the possibility to starting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is this was perfect for us because without nothing we starting to rent, and uh, rent here is not expensive. Uh, it's not expensive in money, but it's, it's expensive in work because you have to, to preserve, no? Yeah. This is the way that you pay the rent. You have to preserve the world, you have to preserve the plants, you have to plant a new pole and a uh, new line and everything. And, uh, uh, but in the same time, with our work, we add something. And this gives us the possibility to starting without nothing completely nothing <laughs> only passion a lot of study because yeah. we study viticulture and technology in Milan together and uh, we every day study because every day you have to stay in, uh, in uh, attention of the new study that go around and uh, the new way for working better in organic or working better in some strange things with the leaves and uh, a lot of things no and you have to stay one okay. I want to ask about the philosophy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Birba goes in cellar for take a sample for tasting oh, okay. after perfect, because perfect. we have new new here to taste. Perfect, okay. perfect. So one is I want to ask a question about how many hectoliters per hectare you have or uh, you know, how many hectoliters per hectare. Ah, okay. Um, the pants uh, of the. The, the type of the, of the soil that we have, uh, and uh, we uh, stay uh, between 30, sorry, 3,000 to 600 kilos of plants. Okay. Uh, three uh, uh, inoctoliters are uh, between uh, 2,100 to uh, uh, 4,200. Mm. So like no, sorry, inoctoliters is 21 to 42. 
it's okay. amazing. It's very small, very small. Yeah, but if you want the quality in uh, in the polyphenols maturation, you have to don't ask too much to, from every plants. But we work at uh, personally every plants. Okay. There's one plants that you can see that have a good leaf. Uh, I can uh, you you think that is good to, that that the plant that plant bring uh, have on uh, two kilos, another plants and a half of kilos. In the end. Uh, around one kilos for every pence mm -hmm. but uh, you can't decide uh, when you are sit down on the table right. you have to decide when you are in front of the plants and you have to understand the plants because these beautiful things do have a lot of difference in, in, in a lot of different plants in, in the vineyards give us the um, only one way for good uh, work good in quality you have to think every plants you can work automatically you have to work uh, every time with the mind on <laughs> okay and think personally every plant so. okay it's beautiful are you ready <laughs> please I more see you. ships yeah. love it you. isn't that cool okay. I need This is old. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of plants run, oh, run out <laughs> before that. Uh... Oh wow! Because the historical way for for Valtellina plants, uh, for the Valtellina uh, 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 producers, was uh, uh, to leave run the plants. Now we leave run the plants too because we uh, have this soft pruning and respect the natural uh, way that have the plants to run uh -huh. but we live to run only maximum one centimeter every year in the past they lived uh, four centimeter ten centimeter four centimeter other twelve centimeter and uh, every year you have too much run no yeah and when we arrived here there's all the plants that across one on another ones and you can't understand what production coming from which plants and it was too much no we re re bring the plants on these roots and uh, we leave uh, uh, run the plants but only one centimeter every year so mm. this is a soft pruning uh, theory when you started in 2004 uh, you're one of the people who started farming differently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In 2004 was uh, was difficult for us because we studied a lot, mm -hmm. but we didn't have the the right time for work. In agriculture, you have to make the the work in the right time. If not, if you waiting two weeks more, <laughs> you you going crazy crazy time because the work uh, uh, coming to be harder and harder and harder and harder and you, you and every time it's good to be slowly and slowly and slowly and you go crazy because you don't have the right time you lost the right time and you have more and more work than not if you do that work in the right time and wow. uh, in the first year was crazy for us because we have okay we have the study but we don't have the the technical to, to work and there was the old people that give us for rent the, 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 the land then the coming in the vineyards no 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 and because in this way, <laughs> you have to do in this way this way this way we have uh, in, in from from that moment we starting to have big respect for the people that give us the, the for the, his, the uh, for the history that we have, mm -hmm. and in the same time, sir, put on uh, our study inside, with and we changed some technical that these old people had, but with a lot of respect. No, mm. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Yeah, but mm. in the end, in the first year, the people look as uh, that's very good. Don't the first first year, 2004, 2005 was a little bit crazy. From 2006, that we uh, starting to have uh, 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 the right uh, 
timing in the yeah. work, um, uh, starting to make uh, this strange work for the people. And the people the first year look as uh, not very good, but now they copy us. Wow. It is one of the most trendsetters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said you are set... very happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we were a strange guy. Now we are uh, <laughs> the people that were the uh, uh, someone that the people want to copy for made the better work. No? What, what were some of the new practices that you oh, did? Uh, in the past, uh, the people. Uh, had this uh, 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 the name in Italy is Archetto Valtellinese um, is uh, Valtellinas uh, what is Arch? Arco, uh, Ar oh, uh, uh, arrow bow arch archery oh look, uh, you know bow with the uh, uh, target it's a bow it's a bow the thing uh, uh, yeah the yeah like okay. the cupids because, that you use yeah uh, yeah exactly yeah because. Uh, <laughs> In the past, uh, the people uh, take the the uh, capo frutto. I don't know this one, and made with this one un un arco uh -huh. in this way. Oh yeah, yes. From yeah. this technical, yeah, they have uh, two or three of this one, very longer, that uh, bring in this way and uh, run. Uh, but the other ones that have the the fruits, the the the, the grapes on uh, the other ones was cut two leaves over the fruit. That oh. is not perfect for the, the maturation in polyphenols. No? Yeah. In this way, this is a, a guyo. It's not a, it's not a strange things. No, this is a guyo. In this way, we have. Uh, a lot of leaf. Uh, we have a good polyphenols. Uh, uh, we have a good photosynthesis, and every grapes uh, have on uh, one meter of leaf. And uh, this leaf worked for have the photosynthesis for have the powerful in the grapes. Mm. Okay. And that's something that you learned from school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And absolutely. also maybe from visiting other people in Barolo. Absolutely, absolutely. And absolutely. We. Uh, was and we are around a lot of times yeah. you everywhere you you can learn something yeah. you have to take your road very open <laughs> yeah. and uh, take everything and decide what uh, we, we, what do you want to do in in, in your in your vineyards in your cellar and uh, but uh, everywhere there's uh, something to learn you know? and uh, it's important to study it's important to go around uh, because there's a lot of people that made this experience, new experience yeah. that is good for, for, for you too, no? Because uh, the agriculture is very slow. You have one harvest every year. It's not like made beer, <laughs> that uh, you made a new beer every day. <laughs> we have only one harvest and you have to go around for improve your knowledge. It's the only way, no? To have contact for more people as possible and uh, is a beautiful moment for me this one because uh, someone sp spoke about me that uh, in the past uh, the people don't were too much happy to sp spoke it about uh, his uh, things now everybody spoke it with you because everybody know that every territory is unique you can't make the same Nebbiolo if you don't have these vineyards. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there aren't secrets. Yeah. There aren't secrets. The secret is... is, is no. <laughs> How do you call this crew, this vineyard? Uh, this one is Dossi Salati. Dossi it's Salati. the white label. Okay. okay. That's the reserva? Yeah, yeah oh. absolutely. And this reserva, until 2015, will have a new name. It will be the Rupi. Valterina Superiore, Riserva, Grumello, Vigna Dossi Salati. Wow. Okay, this will be the name. And this was inspired by one of your mentors? Yeah. Can you <laughs> talk, say that really quick? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we had the fortune to know in uh, 2006 uh, Domenico Clerico and uh, uh, no, sorry, 2008, Domenico Clerico, and uh, we was in the cellar, 
and uh, I take uh, from the, the cask uh, a little bit of wine to give to Domenico to taste uh, and uh, immediately I had another glass in my hands and I I was uh, another time sir, for take other wine no? and Domenico had the wine in, uh, in his hands and uh, I was to make this work and uh, in one second <laughs> oh my god what's happened <laughs> I'm very scared about that, no? <laughs> and Domenico, you have to make this wine alone because it's so crazy and uh, it's one of the things that give us the, the, the idea to make this uh, crew, <laughs> single crew. It's the first hour, single crew, no? And, was, uh, two uh, and uh, this year was uh, Reserva 2007. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and now we decided to give the name of the vineyards uh, on, on the label. No? Well, that's it. <laughs> that's a great story. Yeah, yeah. We learned this method uh, a lot of years ago, I don't remember, okay. something like six okay. years ago. And then, but I noticed you don't, you don't cut the tips, the top, you don't cut those? Uh, uh, we now this year we we will go in uh, exper in new experience from okay. for, for that uh -huh. because uh, uh, Benebbiolo have this uh, I don't know in English but uh, every time so goes and goes and goes uh, in uh, uh, in production of the leaf and uh, for reduce this production of the leaf we starting to have uh, a new experience uh, and we take this uh, cap on without cats but we are a little bit scared because if you have this cap probably you have uh, a lot of humidity in this area and we work it in organic mm -hmm. and probably this give us a little bit more mushrooms than to have the possibility to go down and uh, we don't know we uh, this year we made a little bit of experience and uh, we will decide it couple of years or some years. So before, or up till now, you have cut and now you're thinking of not? Or is it just the way you're going to handle the top? Oh, I understand that. Oh. I didn't understand. Sorry. So last, last year, did you cut? Or yeah. Just, oh, you did. Last year, oh, we passed with a machine. It's a it. electronic machine. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a yeah. cutter. Uh -huh. we, we passed and we, we cut everything. Got it. This year, in some vineyards, don't every vineyard, we starting to make this work, no? What would you hope to get from that? From time? Uh, what? What, 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 is, what would make it better? What, why use this method? Because uh, in this way, when I cut this one, mm -hmm. immediately the plants uh, goes uh, that before I have this one, like uh, most important point, uh, immediately uh, moved uh, the concentration from this one to this one. Oh, uh, okay. And starting this, this secondary, I don't know, in Italy. Shoot. It's shoot. Femina, yeah, oh, shoot. the secondary. When you cut the secondary, restart <laughs> in this part yeah. another one. But, and yeah. Nebbiolo made a lot, a lot, a lot of these things. And you, every time you have to pass and cut, pass and cut. In the same time, sir, when you have a lot of this one, probably uh, the plants uh, have a lot of concentration in this one and, and uh, the, don't, uh, don't too much concentration in grapes. Uh, in the middle of once for us most important altitude uh, for made a good wine, there was a, a forest. There was the wall under the forest, but the forest heating one very old vineyard. And now we are replanting completely new. And we try to planting in other way, from east to west, you know, for these things so of the the wind, forever a little bit of machine for work at the inside, uh, and uh, for uh, all our uh, things about uh, organic, this way probably is, is better, is more faster and uh, is better. And uh, we, we made this uh, in half of hectares. Not our property, we, but we remade everything. We remade a new wall and uh, also a big investment. But we are very happy about this vineyard. Hmm. That's yeah. It's interesting because it's uh, this is this too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because it's different. You have up and yeah. down and you have... Yeah, yeah, it's completely different, but uh, okay. We, we will check if it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For now we are happy. And can you tell us a little bit about what uh, Marco Simoni, what did you learn? What were the major yeah, points? Yeah, um, we, we, we had... Um, we learned from Marco Simoni uh, the way to pruning uh, uh, something like six years ago, something like that. And uh, it's beautiful because Marco Simoni uh, didn't invent nothing, but uh, was very able to read the, the best way to pruning that there are around the world for uh, preserve the, the, um, the age of the plants, for the preserve the s s health of the plants mm -hmm. and bring in a beautiful way for this uh, historical moment. Because you need quality, you need to have the plants in one particular point, you have to stay in one place and uh, 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 Marco uh, explained to us this beautiful soft pruning way that give us the possibility take these plants that are 18 years old and bring more and more and more and more because we're pruning in a very beautiful way for the plants because uh, uh, the, the, the vine is a liana I don't know. it's a plant that, that run and want to run away nice. <laughs> nice, yeah. and uh, this pretty uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, uh, <laughs> in English it's very difficult but uh, this, this characteristic of the vine you, you have to uh, hurt the vine and uh, made the, the vine want for stay good and uh, Marco made this beautiful way for, for give to the plants the possibility to arrive to 100 years old that is beautiful <laughs> it's like our old people work it because the old people um, uh, stay with the plants and hurt the plants. Now we return to these things, but uh, in a new way. That is beautiful for the quality too, for have uh, less quantity of the grapes, uh, for have uh, the plants in one right place. And, uh, we are very happy to start it with this method. Are, are some of his, are his practices that he's recommending? similar to another region or is it no just every completely every region and every um, type of grapes have is right way to do because every type of grapes are a little bit different because some some grapes are um, just um, uh, I don't know our Nebbiolo don't have uh, grapes in the first uh, two or three uh, uh, in English, <laughs> difficult. But in the first part of the plants uh, near the, 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 the plants, uh, you don't have production. You have only in some other parts, okay. and uh, you you have problem uh, because uh, our Nebbiolo push a lot in the end, uh, very in, in the most um, extreme extreme of the plants push a lot uh, and uh, don't give enough life in, in this part. We had to uh, have uh, some uh, special uh, way for have uh, in the same times near the plants uh, enough powerful for uh, have um, uh, for 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 give the possibility to this method to to work it very good in our land too. Mm. And every plants are a little different. Every area is very is a little bit different and uh, yeah, it's, it's important no? it's amazing. but this is good because with Marco you have the possibility to speak a lot mm -hmm. and have a lot of uh, um, collaboration uh, communication yeah, yeah absolutely in this way you in, in immediately we, we we found the right way for our Nebbiolo the territory and we need people that uh, understood what what stay around that class because it's important what stay in the glass, but all that around the glass is important too for us, no? Because it's, uh, we have a, a land uh, that uh, is beautiful to, to explain, uh, it's beautiful to, to, uh, to explain about, our, uh, about the history that, our, that we have uh, with us. And uh, it's incredible because we're starting 
10 years ago to make wine, but with an history, not our history, but the history of our territory. What type of rocks are these? Is it like granite or? Yeah, yeah. It's granite. Yeah, almost. Yeah. 